haven't heard, I'm pregnant. So I thought it'd be a fun idea to try to find a little getaway for the night. So I got on Airbnb and I started looking up all these little tiny homes. <gasps> Wait, look at this one, the Hobbit House of McKinney. Is it in this person's backyard? I didn't know we were staying overnight in someone's backyard. Well, let's go. <laughs> Hobbit House. I feel like I'm going through a little fairy garden. Look, oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, there's two cats, Scott. There's, there's double cats. Thing I've ever seen. Over here we have the tavern kitchen. Now serving breakfast, second breakfast, 11 <laughs> seats. What is that? For reference, I'm only 5'5. Five five. Scott is bending over right now. Then, of course, we have the hobbit hole into the bathroom where you can use the hobbit hole. <laughs> that was a good joke. You can't lie. Anyway, but this is actually so cute. Look at the bathroom. How are you supposed to fit in this? Circular bed. They have little chests. <gasps> is there hidden treasure? No, it's just towels. And then, of course, Scott, you'll be wearing this later. And then a the little well. Oh my god, I'm upset. Oh my god, there's chickens! Are chickens a part of the hobbit world? Hi, pretty. No, Kate, no! I'm sorry, this house is for hobbits only and for Keely and Scott filming a YouTube video. Okay, so the reason that Scott and I are deciding to have a date night tonight is because I've been incredibly sick. So I created this bucket list of all of these indoor date night activities for us to make up for all of the lost date nights in the last three months. Sorry, babe. Okay, so up first on our bucket list is to make a craft. So of course, I thought what better craft than making flower crowns. Can mine be an elf crown? Yeah, you're just giving an elf crowd shirt. Okay. I'm here for like the fairy garden dream vibes. <laughs> Here's my inspo. Whose flower crown do you think is going to be better, mine or yours? Yours is probably going to look better. I think mine will be more functional. That's probably true. All right, I'm doing a French braid method. Oh, that's just a normal braid, honey. I thought that was called French braid. No. Okay, here we go. Here's the measuring part. I haven't used pipe cleaner since I was in elementary school. Were these actually invented to clean pipes? Travis or Johnny, can one of you guys put up the history of pipe cleaners right here? Thank you very much. The pipe cleaner was invented early in the 20th century. This is so uninteresting. Wait, look at the braid. I like it. It looks good. I told you mine would be better than yours. Okay, well, we're not at the end yet. I want flower to go around it. Coral. Flower. Grass. Green. Greenery. Okay, thank you. That was really hard to get to. Didn't you play a fairy or a hobbit or like, I don't know. Like yes, something? I was a uh, puck or Robin Goodfellow. Editors, please make sure we get some footage of that. No. Yes. My mistress with a monster. Is in love. Oh my god, you're putting so much glue, Scott! You gotta stick together. Wait, why does yours look so much better than mine? I hate to tell you, I told you mine would be better. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with some flowers. <gasps> I'm obsessed with these butterflies. Oh! <gasps> no, I broke the butterfly! <laughs> I said I was obsessed with it and then I ripped its whole wing off! Scott! Oh, don't cry, baby. I really wanted to use the pink one and now it's okay. mangled. I mangled it. <laughs> this is not a good oh. start to our date night. <laughs> Scott is putting the final touches on his crown. Looks pretty epic. I like that you added height. It's really staying on. Okay, here's mine. I added less little flowers. That's Look. phenomenal. Only two mental breakdowns where I cried. Baby, it's pretty. Get in the back. The jean jacket doesn't help the princess look. Which is why I came prepared. That matches your crown perfectly. That's why I was going with the colors I did. Uh oh. We're gonna go take a walk and explore around the gardens in a little bit. I will wear this dress and this flower crown and you will take pictures of me. Yay! <laughs> Okay. It's kind of hard to sit in a circle. I'll sit in front of the door. Before we go take a walk and explore, I think we should order something so that it's here. By... Why are you looking around everywhere? I'm just looking at all the details. We're gonna order food so it's here by the time we're done with our walk. So I need to know what kind of food do you want? What I want doesn't matter. It's whatever the baby and you want. Cause if we get what I want, <laughs> if we get what I want, that'll happen. So Sorry, I just thought about eating food and I got really nauseous. Oh, okay. Why don't you look and you give no, me some I, options? This one? No. I can't, can't. <laughs> Why are you making me do this? I just don't know what I want. Is there like a chain text mix that we know is good? What about El Phoenix? El Phoenix. We made a choice and I didn't throw up making my choice. Win! <laughs> Ready for your walk? Let's go. Yeah! Okay, Scott. Let's come take pictures. You look great. Yay! Oh my god, I feel like people are gonna look at me. Yes, they're gonna look at you. Yeah. <laughs> cool, people are gonna look at you. <laughs> Let me take your pictures. Oh. We're taking our walk now. Scott, you look really majestic in this no. wizard costume. Boy, this is amazing. You are not kidding. <laughs> right? It's kind of amazing. The sun is like perfect for us. I'm so embarrassed. There's cars <gasps> walking by. Cars are walking by? No, they're. Dang. <laughs> this Thanks. is so embarrassing. <laughs> I think this is so funny. We just ran into the owners of the Airbnb and they were like, wow, you guys are really into it, huh? I was like, sure, yeah. But we're just filming it for at least for a YouTube video. What are you doing? I'm going on an adventure. Look at this field back here. 
Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, well now we have to take pictures. Ooh, pretty. Dude, hold that out again because it's really cool. Babe, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, fun walk. Fun walk, yay. Yeah, they look cute for our date night. Cute and dorky. Hey. You're wearing a, you're wearing a fairy crown. And I don't look like a dork right now. <laughs> you married this. Yay. <laughs> okay, we just got back from our walk and um, we're gonna make a picnic, baby. Keely took hers off because she was uncomfortable and I took mine off because I was uncomfortable. Okay, so next thing on the bucket list is to make a picnic indoors. Scott and I brought our picnic basket from home and I thought we could set it up right here in front of this fireplace that actually turns on. So let's get started. I have the food. Yeah. And it smells so good. First steps first, the sheet. <laughs> Woo. For the romantic vibes, I brought all of these little tea light candles. Wait, this one's dead. Wait, and this one doesn't even have batteries. Scott, I tried to make it romantic. Setting the ambiance. 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 You know what a picnic is not complete without? Sparkling apple juice, baby. There's no alcohol, because I'm pregnant. Just letting everyone know, before you guys all come for me in the comments. Oh my gosh, look at this. You made a whole chip charcuterie board. Okay, this chip platter looks really lit. But Scott, there's one final thing for the date night. <gasps> oh my. You can't have an epic picnic without a fire. Cheers, uh, date night. Happy Hobbit date. Does this make up for the lack of date nights in the last three or four months? I think so. I'm having a good time. Honestly, just seeing you happy and like, feeling like yourself is the best part. Honestly, I do feel like really happy being here. Like just getting to hang out and be silly and fun and dress up in costumes that make you embarrassed. <laughs> okay, we gotta pop the champagne. It's not champagne. Don't come for me. Look at that. Shout out to the Hobbit home people. This is so fun. I'm not a very graceful pool. <laughs> no, you're not. That's plenty. Thank you, honey. To date night in a tiny home. <laughs> That's about to be my new pregnancy gravy. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> So we were gonna do the next date night bucket list item, and then Keely laid down. I went horizontal, I'm sorry. I literally was just like, okay, I just had a good big meal. Like, I just need a little lay down. This time to paint, you don't wanna paint? No, I actually really wanna do the paint game. Get up! But I'm so warm and cozy. Get, get, Get this camera out of my face, <laughs> it's so bright. I just try to nap a little. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Okay, I'll find them. Welcome to the next item on our date night bucket list, which is painting! But I thought it'd be fun to do a paint challenge. We're gonna swap canvases every minute. Do I don't wanna share a painting with you. Bruh. And we're gonna do it for 10 minutes and we're gonna see who- Swapping nine times? I'm excited, this is gonna be fun. I have Promise some... not to get mad. No. <laughs> if Mr. Hobbit and Mrs. Hobbit themselves are watching. We have towels that we bought and we brought on the bed. Are you ready, Freddy? I'm ready, Freddy. Go. Oh my gosh, I'm already stressed. Do you have a vision? I have a shape. You're painting your white canvas white. Oh, Stop that's... judging me. Yeah, yeah. Go. I'm trying to be too like artistic with it and I can't, I can't be. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm actually stressed, guys. Wait, I'm really stressed. My oh, go-to no. mode is just quiet down and focus. Oh my God, I'm trying to paint over your, your cream, but it just blended the colors. I thought the cream would have been dry. I don't know why. Okay, stop, 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 stop. This is what the first one looks like so far. <laughs> and why does that look like Megan Trainer's husband? <laughs> I see what you're saying. I think you were painting trees at the bottom of this, but I'm not 100% positive. Oh my God, this is so stressful. I think it's fun. <laughs> it is fun, but I'm surprised. Oh, 14 seconds. Frick, 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 frick. What the heck are you doing over there? Don't question my art. I at least tried to go with something over here. Okay, so here's the update. I have trees for Scott. Ooh, I actually really like how you do trees. Thank you. And what did you, why did you add chicken pox? Can abstract just be abstract? Yeah, but I just I like- I thought I was the person who tries to reason everything. So this is our fourth swap. Okay, that brush had blue on it, so now his hair has blue highlights. Also, I don't think you can tell each other what you're trying to do. That's the whole point, Keely. Yeah, I, okay, well, maybe I'm playing wrong. Ah! This is not enough time. I really don't want this to be a person. Wait, this kind of looks like the Northern Lights, bro. Okay, there's mine. Ooh! This it looks like now. What? You got rid of my persons! You ruined them! Oh, this looks so ugly. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this now. Okay, we're gonna do four more swaps, starting now. Nope, I need a little more. Nope, you have to put the brush down, put the brush down, put the brush down. Here's my update. What does this help? <laughs> Billy. But I wrote it backwards, so it's abstract like you wanted. <laughs> I will try to finish accomplishing your vision. Oh! Scott. Okay, all I did was add some bad grass background on the bottom of this. And you added some, you know what, it looks better. 
I made mine tic-tac-toe. I was initially going to make it look like it's voiding into space, but it doesn't look like that as much, so I'm deciding now it's just a black sun. Okay, you know, or like it'd be- Why do you, it you criticize? Quit criticizing. <laughs> Quit, you're the homeschooler. You're supposed to invite all creativity. This is the last one. Okay, ready? Yep. Go. Oh God, that had the wrong colors on it. We have 19 seconds. I actually really like how this turned out. Wait, okay, I didn't see the vision in the beginning and now I see. No, it didn't matter <laughs> where it was going. There we go, so here's my finished art piece. What are the orange ones? They're shooting stars. Okay, yeah. So it started off as orange ginger man. No, it started off as <laughs> yellow bulbous figure. I put, decided to put the X over his mouth because it felt like to me, he was being silenced about speaking out about being a redhead with chicken pox. <laughs> I really liked the blue X, so I blurred all the lines except, except for the blue X. Well, Scott, this was a successful um, activity on our date night bucket list. Final products. Oh, you got on your, on your Taylor sweatshirt. <gasps> I got blue paint on my Taylor Swift sweatshirt. I didn't think about that. Quit touching it, quit touching it. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On to the next activity. <laughs> okay, next thing on our bucket list is dessert, which means since we're in a tiny home, I thought, what about tiny s'mores? So we have mini marshmallows. <laughs> the one thing we forgot is skewers. Go. So we're gonna use a fork. Let's see if it actually works or not. Oh my gosh, you really meant it when you said you're going multiple at once. Yes. They are able to catch on fire though, and that's how you know they're the best. No, that, that's psychotic. Comment down below if you're a catch a marshmallow on fire kind of person. Scott, what? my fork is melting. Yeah, you can't, you can't. Wait, those do look really good. Those kind of look like Mickey ears. All right, you ready? Dink. Oh my God, it's so cute and tiny. This is perfect for a tiny home. Mmm, that is really good. I can not understand anything you just said. It's actually really good. Well, in case anybody wanted to know how my fork turned out. Um, This is Middle Earth, which is uh, the Lord of the Rings map. And Keely said this looks like the Starbucks lady up here. It does look, does it not look like the Starbucks lady? Please I, put the Starbucks lady there, Travis or Johnny. Thank I'm just you. pretty sure Starbucks lore doesn't come from Lord of the Rings. No, I think it does. I'm tired. We've done all of our bucket lists for the night. The last thing is just to go to sleep. We'll watch in the movie. <laughs> All right, Keely, you cozy, you ready? I am ready. It is time. No better time than this. Oh, look, wait, that's the ring that's hanging on the wall. Yes, that's the ring. Ew, Gollum scares me. Maybe it don't look. I don't like Gollum. Stop. <laughs> it is kind of boring. Can I turn it off? Okay, what do you want to watch? You know. How's that? Oh. See you in the morning, I guess. Don't ever believe an influencer when they post a clip of them waking up because they had to get out of bed, set up their camera, and then get back into bed. So me and Scott are actually both ready for the day. Good morning! <laughs> we slept so freaking good in that bed. Did you sleep good in that bed, Scott? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we are just a little slightly panicked because our checkout time here is at 11, and um, we haven't finished packing all our stuff, so. Um, we gotta pack up our stuff really quickly because we have to be out of here in the next five minutes. Welcome to real life. Welcome to Keely's real life, where she is an overpacker and packed four. Wow, we really have five bags here. It's fine, it's fine. Wait, I gotta tell you guys something. So last night, I'm waking up to pee every five minutes because I'm pregnant and that's what I do. Whenever you pee, you have to, you have to step over this little, you know, hump. And then the ceiling is so short right here that you can hit your head. So naturally last night, I hit my head about three times coming to pee in the middle of the night. And I also almost tripped over this thing and face planted. So that would have been, oh, see my head. That would have been bad. We might be a little bit too tall of people to be a hobbit. Wait, the kitty's back. You don't want us to leave, do you? Dave, can we take the cat? Nope. No? Poppy will eat them. But look at how cute they are. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this kitty. Do you need help? I got it. Good, because I wasn't actually going to offer help. Uh -huh. <sighs> Bye, chickens. You were really annoying this morning. Bye, Kenny. You will be my best friend forever and always. Don't tell Daisy and Poppy, okay? I like that cat. We sure we can't take them? Yes. We have a baby on the way. I don't even know if we can keep Daisy and Poppy when we have a kid. 
I'm Don't kidding. say that kind of blasphemy. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so we finished at the Hobbit home and then we came to get breakfast. I just want to give our final thoughts. I think it's an eight and a half out of 10. I think that's fair. What would you do to make it better? I would make a taller ceiling section. Uh, that's what I was going to say. I would have rated it nine, but the fact that you couldn't stand in half of it made me want to rate it eight and a half. But it also reminded me I was in a Hobbit home. Overall, Scott, do you feel reconnected and do you feel like they had fun? I never felt disconnected, but it, it's, it was definitely fun. What was your favorite part of the date night? The 10 seconds I got to watch Lord of the Rings. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no, my actual favorite thing was the queso. I think my favorite was the painting. That was really fun. And I think also just getting to be joyful and happy for the first time in like months. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below what date nights you want us to do next. Bye!